Hi everyone, let us discuss this example. So in this example, we have this power series summation z raised to n upon n factorial. We have to prove that it converges for all values of z. Okay. So with the help of radius of convergence, we are going to solve this example, right? See in previous video already we have seen what is meaning of radius of convergence and how to find it. Okay. So let us recall this concept and then we will go further. So we know that, okay. So for each power series, there is some radius of convergence. And if you have mod z less than r, then we say the series is convergent and or converges. And if mod z greater than r, then series is divergent or diverges. Okay. So let me mention here divergent. Okay. So here also for this series, we are going to find r radius of convergence and then we will decide. Okay. So let us write the given information we have. What we have, this is a series we have. Let me write it here. Summation z raised to n upon n factorial n running from 0 to infinity. Here, let us find a n first. So you know that standard form of power series, okay, about z, z is equal to 0 is a n z raised to n. If you compare the given series with this one, you can easily see our a n is 1 upon n factorial. So here 1 upon n factorial. Let us find a n plus 1. That means simply replace n by n plus 1. So we will have 1 upon n plus 1 factorial. Okay. So let us apply the formula of radius of convergence which we have already seen in our previous video. So that is formula of r is limit n tends to infinity mod a n upon a n plus 1. Let us put the values limit n tends to infinity a n is 1 upon n factorial n plus 1 is 1 upon n plus 1 factorial okay actually no need to apply mod since factorials are there so obviously we will have positive real numbers okay so no need to apply mod so that n plus 1 factorial is in denominator of denominator so we can shift at numerator so see what will we have so this is equal to limit n tends to infinity n plus 1 factorial upon n factorial. So limit n tends to infinity. You know that n plus 1 factorial can be expressed in this way n plus 1 into n factorial and here n factorial. So what will happen n factorial n factorial will get cancelled. So this is equal to limit n tends to infinity n plus 1. If you apply the limit you will have the value infinity getting it, it will go to infinity if you apply the limit. See, uh, radius of convergence is infinite, getting radius of convergence is infinite. That means for any value of z, if you select, obviously its mod is less than infinity. So it will be a convergent series since radius of convergence is infinite. So if mod z is less than infinity, radius of convergence is infinity, then it is convergent series or you say it's, it is, it converges. Okay. So therefore, therefore, let me mention radius of convergence is infinity so therefore given series given series converges uh, for all values of z all values of z belongs to c okay uh, see you can make a screenshot of it uh, after that we will stop thank you bye bye